um, over the uh, years, uh, two techniques have come to my attention uh, for controlling smaller room acoustics, whether it's in the high-end audio performance environments or home theater, but also in recording studios and mainly in recording studios, because that's where the music is made and where it comes from. And um, the, uh, the first version of room acoustics is um, putting sound panels or foam or whatnot, uh, sound diffusers, uh, on the surfaces of the room, uh, above the speakers or between the speaker and the listener, reflection points, and in the corners with bass traps like tube traps, and things like that. So it's basically what you're doing is mechan adding mechanical widgets to the surface of the room in order to control how the room is reflecting sound back to the microphone or to the mix engineer, their ears. Um, the second version of how to set up a room is was is kind of comes through the experiences of ASC and tube traps, which is to interfere with the sound that's going from the talent or loudspeaker towards the room is interfere with that process, essentially to put the room into an acoustic shadow zone and thereby erase the room from being a player in the sound that the engineer's ears or microphone hears. And that was an astonishing idea because it almost competes with the traditional uh, surface mount room acoustic approach that almost everybody and all the designers of rooms uh, provide those services of how do you, what kind of objects do you mount to which surface where in order to control room acoustics. So the uh, ASC attack wall and the quick sound field are the two fundamental products. The quick sound field is used in the live room for microphone work and the attack wall is used in the control room, really could be any room, uh, but, but uh, it creates a control room in, uh, in uh, uh, creates a control room period um, in a regular room that is normally acoustically untreated. So the thing is, is that by using, by preconditioning the sound before it escapes where the immediate vicinity of where it's being created and before it gets to the room itself if you condition that sound then you don't need room acoustics because you've preconditioned the sound and the room acoustic is receiving a, a signal that's weak and controlled and so we eliminate the need for new room acoustics so you either have near field you might say midfield room acoustics which is surrounding the talent and the mic or the speakers and the engineer or you release the energy out into the open uncontrolled until it hits the walls of the room and then you have to control the reflection strength of the room so two systems are out there and uh, i think it's fantastic that we have this double two different ways of skinning the cat <laughs>